ChatGPT's capacity to identify and correct code issues is pretty impressive. It's a strong tool for code debugging and may help developers save a lot of time and effort. It doesn't just point out flaws, it also offers a variety of solutions, letting developers pick the one that works the best for their particular use case. Another great capability of ChatGPT is its ability to find and explain errors in your code. Till now, we have seen how to get feedback on your code. But now let's see how I can find errors in my code. By sharing your co code with ChatGPT, you can receive detailed explanations of any errors or bugs present in your code. This can be immensely helpful, especially when debugging complex programs or unfamiliar code bases that you have never seen before. Let us see some of the common scenarios that may occur while coding. For example, let's say I want to introduce a delay in execution in Python. I need to use the time module and its sleep function. I will now demonstrate how ChatGPT can find and fix this specific bug for me. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends hoping to learn ChatGPT. Also, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions, suggestions or requests for more information and we will be happy to incorporate it in the next video. I'm going to write, find any possible errors in this code. So it tells me that the code you provided is missing an import statement for the time module. Here's the corrected code. It has imported the time module for me so that I don't run into any errors in the future. As you can see on the screen, I inputted my code into ChatGPT and it quickly identified the error. It provided me with a suggestion to import the necessary module and even included the correct import statement in the code. I'm pretty impressed by ChatGPT's ability to not only identify the bug, but also provide a solution for it. Now let's move on to the second test. Sometimes I run into an index error, list index out of range, which can be pretty annoying error to deal with. Let's see if ChatGPT can help me identify and fix this type of error. I will ask, I have given it an input and it is telling me that there are few errors in the code. Here's the corrected code. As you can see, it has given me the corrected code and it has also given me a list of errors that we might run into. It has told me that the parameter name input is something that is a built-in function in Python, so it's better to use a different name for it. The for loop in the original code is not indented correctly, so proper indentation is necessary to define the scope of the loop, and it has changed it to while on its own. It, it is also telling me that while deleting elements from a list, you should use while loop instead of for to avoid skipping elements or encountering an index error. So it has told me that we might run into an index error and it has modified the loop to use a while loop instead of for. It, has, it is also telling me that the return statement in the original code is not indented correctly. It should be placed outside the loop after the elements have been processed. And it has also made all of these corrections by itself. That is pretty impressive. Let's move on to the third test. By the way, if you want to learn about generative AI in far more depth and detail than what I'm covering here, we have a lot of courses of AI and ML from top universities in India and the world. Link is pinned in the comments, go check it out. Another error that anyone might run into is that division by zero error. This is a common error that can occur when a program attempts to divide a number by zero, which is undefined in mathematics. And most of us do not realize while using u loops or conditional statements or any sort of array initialization that there is a chance that we might run into division by zero error. So let us see how ChatGPT can help me identify and fix this error. So I'm going to ask, find any errors in the code given below. I've already copy pasted the code here is the statement that might run into a division by zero error. As you can see, it has told me that there are no syntactical errors in this code, but we might run into a potential logical error. So when the input list is empty, the code will raise a zero division error because dividing by zero is not allowed. To handle this case, you can 
add a condition to check if the input list is empty before calculating the average and it has given me the modified code that is checking if the input list is zero if it is not then it goes into the function and then divides and finds the average in the modified code some function now checks the length of the input so this is how it is preventing us to get a div zero division error this worked pretty well too in conclusion i must say that i am really impressed with chat gpt's capacity to identify and correct code issues it's <laughs> evident from the samples that we have provided in this video that chat gpt is a strong tool for code debugging and may help developers save a lot of time and effort it doesn't just point out flaws it also offers a variety of solutions letting developers pick the one that works the best for their particular use case so i urge all of you to give it a shot and see how it enhances your productivity and efficiency